in order to subscribe to my channel please click here or click here please share comment and like my videos and channel hey guys this is Gaurav welcome to SAS with ServiceNow in this session we will talk about ServiceNow and Apigee and I will show you how exactly you can utilize Apigee for ServiceNow APIs Apigee is an API management platform which makes your APIs more secure. You can add different functionalities for your APIs in Apigee platform. That means it sits in the middle of two applications which we want to connect to each other. I will show you quickly. So let's talk about direct API access first. You have ServiceNow application, you have your consumer application. Now this consumer application can connect to ServiceNow if I provide the end you point directly to consumer. That means they can access and connect to ServiceNow instance with that particular endpoint. Now what if, if I put Apigee between these two applications, that means between ServiceNow and consumer application. So if I put Apigee, then Apigee will have access to ServiceNow endpoint and then consumer will have access to Apigee endpoint. Now will this consumer applic application uh, be able to access ServiceNow endpoint directly? So the answer is no. If I put Apigee between these two applications or maybe let's say if it's, it's sitting in front of your, your uh, destination application, then consumer application will not be able to connect to your uh, destination application in this case, which is ServiceNow. So consumer application will connect to Apigee endpoint. He will only have access to Apigee endpoint. Whatever Apigee will provide the URL will be mentioned in consumer application and Apigee will route all the requests and response from the system in the backend. So if consumer application is sending a request, it will be sent via Apigee to ServiceNow and then ServiceNow will return the response and it will be sent to the consumer via Apigee. That's how you can make your APIs more secure. There are a lot of other functionalities in Apigee which you can utilize. However, in this demo, I will just show you that how exactly Apigee works with ServiceNow. So I will show you a demo. So this is my personal developer instance. And we will go to REST API Explorer because we will just pick one uh, random API maybe just table API. This is API Explorer. So table API is already selected. I will select here incident table. I will select incident here and I will do get records. Limit will be one for now. And I can just click on send just to do it, just testing. It is done. Now what I can do, I can just copy this URL and I will go to Postman so that I can test it. This is the Postman. I will do a get. First, I will paste the URL. I will provide the authorization. That will be basic authentication. It has integration.test demo. I don't know if already there, but I will use my admin account for now. So it has uh, authentication details and the URL. Now you will see, like this is an example, you can think this is an, another application and I'm just sending the request. When I'm sending the request, I will get the response from ServiceNow. So you can see I got the details of that incident here, but it is accessing to the direct API of ServiceNow. Now, how exactly I can make this API endpoint hidden so that my consumer is not aware of which API is this, I can move this API to ServiceNow. That means I can configure this API into uh, Apigee platform and 
then Apogee will provide me an endpoint which will be used with this application, Postman or any other application you have. How to do that? For that, we will go to Apogee. This is my Apogee instance. I will reload it. I have to check if it's not logged out. It's there. Now I will go to develop. I will go to API proxy. Now I'm showing you how can you create it. Now these these demos are not uh, are not to show you that how how exactly you can learn Apigee. It's just to show you that if you already have Apigee in your organization and you have to create a new proxy for it, how can you create it for ServiceNow? So I can click on new. So I will create a new proxy for ServiceNow. API and that is table API and that is also for incident so that we can give direct access for incident not for any other table API so here I have reverse proxy so I will just click here I will give it a name so name can be maybe service now incident we have base path here I can put version and that's a really I would say a really great feature of Apigee as well you can put the base path now here we have target endpoint what exactly you have to give you will go to your service now or maybe you can just pick this one I will pick this one and I will give it the URL I will remove this uh, parameter of sysperm limit we will just stick to incident for now and I will click on next uh, pass through no authorization I don't want any authorization here and I can just click on next you can see it has created all these endpoints I can make its default as well if I want and I will click on next I will make it available for prod and test environment and I will deploy it so it is deploying the proxy which I have created one thing I want to tell you that as you know table API uh, can be exposed to anyone but as as a service now platform owner maybe I don't want to expose all my table API's in that case that's how you can utilize this uh, service now uh, service now and Apigee um, Apigee configurations so that you can directly create endpoints in Apigee which are just exposed to a consumer so not just table API they will they will access this endpoint which will directly route it to the incident table API not any other API so that they can change it because if I say in this case here I can change the table because I know the structure I know the structure I can change it however if I talk about Apigee I won't be able to change this because it's my base path so th this is done everything is um, implemented now I will show you how exactly it works so we will utilize secured one um, or maybe we will go here and check where the proxy was implemented so yes and it is live as well you can see status is green I am opening it I'm opening the proxy it says error in deployment I will see it says in prod it is not deployed completely I will check I have undeployed it and I'm deploying again it is deploying it's giving me error again okay it says deployment completed so both are complete green that means proxy has been deployed on both the environments here I will use maybe this URL secured one let's try this whether I, we were get, we are getting the same data or not I will go to postman I will go here so you will see I don't have to change anything related to the username and the password you consumer can continue to use username and the password now even if you want to hide it you can do that with the help of API key so here you can see I have used this endpoint but here endpoint is changed now this endpoint is only for incident management table that's it no other table he can't change this API as well if he will change it consumer will try to change this 
he will get error and he will not be able to connect but in this case consumer can change yeah you might definitely you might put that he doesn't have access but the idea would be something different he can change the table and if by mistake he has access he can access that table directly but in this case he can't change it i will put the authorization i will use basic it, it will be as it is and i will click on send you will find there is no difference only important part here is we are not giving the direct api access to our consumers i will click on send you will see it is sending the request to your apigee and apigee will route that request to your service now and we have received the data we have we have got one incident record from our instance that is dev now consumer can definitely see this now you can also hide this so you can see I have created this proxy. Now I will add more things. You will just watch my uh, 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 future future videos. You can do lot more in Apigee rather than directly in your ServiceNow instance for APIs. So I hope you like my video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.